let's go to the next question. So you guys talked about your your academic interests. And I saw a common theme there that most, if not everyone, um, Angela, Sashank, Alina focused on STEM, right? Uh, NCSM being the School of Science and Math. Um, there's, they, they really focus on STEM, but how much did you emphasize STEM in your application? Um, so like I said before, STEM was not a heavy part of my application. I took with, I went along with what I was offered and awards I've gotten through individual classes, but not extracurriculars. Um, but I also took some personal like influence. My granddad had Alzheimer's. I talked about some research I might like to do with that. And I kind of tied in what I could do with what I was offered, not what I had. So there's other ways you can approach it. Great. Yeah. And like Anna talked about, you know, STEM is not the only way you can approach your application. Uh, NCSM also has, I remember last year we did the same panel and one of our panelists at, told the, the audience that NCSM actually the biggest department is humanities, not STEM. So there's also a big humanities focus, which is kind of a misconception that a lot of people believe. Um, let's go to... Alina, next. Um, for me, I definitely emphasize STEM a lot because my like interests at the time and all of my activities and like the hardest classes I took were basically all STEM. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that, and it's kind of cliche. I would just say like be authentic and try to represent yourself as best you can. Because for me, I just like happen to have a lot of STEM things, but if you don't, I don't think you should try to like force that. Right. Yeah. And a big part is, you know, everyone is going to focus on STEM. So you need some, some way to stand out, right? So you need some, maybe some humanities, um, some expertise in, you know, history, maybe, um, to, to get yourself out of just the, the STEM loophole. Uh, let's go to Angela. So for me, uh, I think the application in itself does have a few sections where they want you to focus on only STEM. Like they have a question that's just about like what you love most, your favorite STEM subject. And they have a part in awards and accomplishments with where they want you to focus only on STEM. So for me, I took that as like the stuff outside of that was an opportunity for me to talk about stuff outside of STEM. So my other essays, I tried to focus them away from, from just STEM, especially since for me, like I said, uh, my extracurriculars balance between humanities and STEM. So um, even though I did have STEM, I, do, I did emphasize um, the STEM that I had. If you do have humanities things, never try to hide that in your application or try to make it seem like your STEM activities are definitely more important than your humanities ones in your application. Because I think um, InstaSTEM also does look for students that are well-rounded in other things. So I definitely did talk about like, I play volleyball as well and I, I do chess and have leadership positions. So they also really look for a well-rounded person uh, above someone who like uh, emphasizes only STEM in their application. Great, thanks so much. Let's try Shashanki. Uh, yeah, hopefully this works out a little bit better. Um, I, so what I was trying to say before is, um, I kind of agree with what everybody's been saying is that STEM is a very important part of the application, which is why they have a dedicated essay for it. Um, however, if, if you have other things that you've done, there's, there's no need to hide that just because this is a school of science and math. And like you alluded to before, they have a very big humanities department and um, they have a really good uh, music program. And like that, that they have all, like a ton of different uh, things, not just science and math related. So um, some things that I've done, like that I didn't really allude to in my intro. Like, you know, I, I wrote an essay for SSM about how I was, um, I volunteered in a team court as an attorney uh, for a couple of years, which is completely not STEM related. It's very like legal, like, you know, long legal. Um, so, there, and I also wrote about like how as a musician and I like playing music as like a escape from the day to day life. You know, so there's a lot of things that you can talk about in addition to just. Oh, oh, I took like 15 APs and um, uh, I, I won like this many science competitions. Like, you, you tr don't be afraid to talk about whatever you have. Just put everything out there in your application. 